Hello, J Company Program Partners. I'm going to go ahead and go through a few different, really important steps to make sure you and your students and your J companies are going to get up and operating successfully. And here's how to do it. So students will have to be invited into the Square account with an email or a phone text message. Whenever they receive a um, email, it looks very much like this, where their name will be, show up here, they'll click the login button, and that will then walk them through a series of having them set a password. They will create their own. It'll then confirm kind of the account that they are being asked to join. It'll share a four-digit passcode with them that is only somewhat important for them to remember. And that's only if they're going to use a shared point of sale. And that means if like they're all going to share one device and they want to sign in and out of that device with their own passcode, they could. But at the end of the day, that passcode is not really that important. And then finally, it'll bring up a screen where it will say download the Square point of sale app or log into dashboard. Although the download the Square app is going to be something they may want to do for creating their password, getting into the account, joining it as a team member, the best thing for them to do is to click the log into dashboard. As soon as they do that, what will ultimately then show up is their dashboard and it'll look just like this. Now, when I invite you into it, if you are a teacher and you have multiple JA companies that you are helping to manage, there are gonna be two things that I'm gonna point out first. Number one, and this is also for the students, don't change the name. The JA company names have already been pre-assigned. They are on your accounts, but they won't show up here in the top right corner. It's okay. For my teachers, if you have multiple JA companies that you're managing, if you have multiple companies, they're going to be here in this drop down, and you can move in between companies by clicking on each one. Students, when they are invited, they only get invited into that one location. So they won't be able to hop in between unless you invite them into multiple locations. So the good news is, is you'll quickly be able to move from company to company, see their reports, all of those kind of high level details very quickly. And students, you'll only be in the account you need to be in. So your items, your orders, all of your reports, all of those things will stay separate. Now, here's the thing when you are building your items and you build them here on your main dashboard, they should sync automatically to your online dashboard where you sell things online. That being said, sometimes you have to make sure by coming into your item and you click on an item, you go into its details and at the very bottom of that item, there'll be a little slide, like a little blue slide button where you click on it to say, add this or make it visible in my online shop. Usually that's set to automatically happen, but sometimes it doesn't. I might be able to show you exactly what I'm talking about later, but you'll likely be able to figure it out because it's very visible and present. Now, the key thing here, and I wanted to make sure I got to it very quickly, so students make sure you're listening up and paying attention. When all of you click online, even if you were only in one location in your normal dashboard, when you get here to online, it's set up a little bit differently. The first and foremost thing that you will see is that the company name now will appear in the top right corner. It'll also say online up here in the top left. And then there's a drop down. This drop down is going to have all of the JA Company Programs websites. So if you are part of a specific company and you're part of a, a teacher who has numerous companies, anytime you come to your online store or online dashboard, you need to make sure you actually come over here, you click this drop down, you find your company. Once you click on that company, just give it a moment. You can see it's loading things up. It's now going to move me into that business's account. If I accidentally, if I work for Timeless and I'm here on the photo booth and I start building items, I start editing the website, I'm going to be changing that for the photo booth. So you must make sure that you are inside of your business it's really quick and easy to get in there, but you have to make sure that you see that. And usually if you're using a device, it'll help cache and remember all of that information and get you in the right place. However, it may not 
uh, auto populate you into the right business. So this is how you can quickly and easily find your business, get into it. And then of course, you're going to know whether or not it's yours, because you'll start to see sales, you'll start to see orders and items and things like that, that are very much like the way you think they should be. So if you're accidentally looking at things that don't look like yours, click on this drop down, find your business and go in. Sometimes Square has issues though. And the best way to kind of fix all of that stuff is clicking this button up here in the top left, clicking your home button, which will take you back to your home dashboard. So I always like to say you have a home dashboard and you have an online dashboard. Some businesses only wanna sell in person. Some wanna sell online, some want both. And Square built tools that enable you to do both one or the other, or really integrate those things together. Now, as you see, I was on maybe the photo booth or something else. I'm now on everything art. So of course, students should only see the one that they are in. And when they click the drop down, they won't have options. Teachers, you'll have options, but students, you should only be enrolled or kind of registered here on the main dashboard within your normal business, okay? And then of course, items, same thing. You'll pop in here to items. And let me go ahead and click on this just to see if I can actually show you that one section. Probably have to do a, a demo of creating an item just to kind of show you what it looks like. If we're doing a physical item, for instance, we'll click that. It's gonna launch now here. It's gonna show you some things. As you do type things in, it will be nice and let you know. Students, as you're doing this, it should automatically select your location. But my teachers, if you're on multiple locations, you're actually gonna be able to go in there and select it for multiple businesses, unselect it, you're gonna be able to edit those changes because you're on all of those locations. So now students, if you are looking for that one piece that I was talking about in terms of being able to offer it on your online, it's going to be in this square online settings, okay? And right now it's pre-order quantity limits, partially just because I haven't filled out any of that information. So eventually your one website one website that'll be right here that will show up once you and your students whichever location or business you are a part of finally create an item the reason it shows where add to sites here for me is because i'm on numerous locations so students you'll only once you create the item in whichever location you are in it will automatically know where to put that um, because I actually remember setting those within your online stores as I built them. And it will then pull this item into that specific store online. Um, that way your items don't get crisscrossed between businesses. That said, if you ever have issues or need help, please let me know. I can go in there and do extra things that you guys just can't. Um, and that's just partially to help keep everyone safe and make sure things are going well. So I'm going to discard that. The only other thing I just want to kind of point out is there's a lot of information in here, a lot of things that you can kind of manage and see. If you have questions, ask first. Don't just start clicking around or doing things like your balance. Yes, it's going to be right here on your Square account and needs to stay there so that you know how much money you guys have brought in as a company. Only when it's time to spend money will you click transfer and then those will actually transfer automatically to the linked bank accounts that I have them connected to. And then your teachers will be able to help you with purchases, whether it's reordering new supplies, you name it, helping you to get more stuff so that you can keep building your products and selling them. The only other thing I'll mention about items is there is the ability to create a QR code at the very end of that item. So I guess to go back to this really quickly, if I scroll all the way to the very bottom, there's this online checkout button. If I click that and just wait a second, it's going to give you this checkout link below, okay? And it says you must first save the item before a link can be created, but it'll give you a little copy link here. You click that and then it'll give you a QR code. It'll give you a text message. It'll give you so many different ways to get this one item out there in front of your customers. Now that said, it's not an online website. You can create a QR code off of your online website. However, this is just a payment link for that one item. Okay, so I want to make sure that's crystal clear. If I have items that have different attributes, yes, you can have and modifiers and all that good stuff, different variations, small, medium, large. However, 
This is just for that one item. I can't offer a hoodie and a pair of sweatpants all in this one item, okay? And have one link, not like that, but you can offer an online checkout link that you turn into a QR code. Again, if you have questions, I'm happy to help arrange that. Or again, YouTube is a good friend, as well as Googling to say, how can I turn my URL into a QR code? And of course your URL is this link right up here. But if you have questions, I'm more than happy to help. Just reach out and I will schedule time with you to connect and best of luck to you and your company as you guys get selling. The last thing I'll say is once you are ready to actually put that website out there and sell, reach out to me. I will quickly be able to jump in here, check out all of your sites and make sure things are looking the way that it should to make sure that when you sell things, you know, all of the funds and all of that stuff is happening the way that it should. Um, we want to keep your money safe and make sure you guys get the best return for your work. If you have questions, reach out, but best of luck and thanks so much.